Good morning, everyone. This morning, I am going to Tokyo with my wife. Um, I'm going to be up for the next probably day and a half. Hopefully, I don't get jet, jet lagged. It's like three in the morning now. Um, taxi's coming in about an hour. Um, it's special for us, this trip, because this is our 10-year anniversary of when we met. Uh, me and my wife, and actually a five-year anniversary of us getting married. And I turn 40 in June, so we're going to try and put all these events together into one, go back to Tokyo, have a great time, because Tokyo is like one of our favourite spots on the planet, and it's a, it's a great place to go. Um, I'm also going to be doing some game hunting here, and I've got prepared this time, because last time I, I went, I wasn't prepared at all. This time I got a little bit of knowledge, so I'm going to spend my money wisely. But... One of my biggest regrets ever is selling my Famicom that I got from Japan the first time I went. I have no idea why I did it, and I always punish myself to this day for doing it. So, I'm going back out there again, and I want to find something, and a bit of a redemption story in a way. I'm going to go and find something new. Now, what I want to find is this mother earthbound i really want to get it i don't know if i'm going to find it i've been looking at numerous youtube videos of people in japan and see if i can see it in the shops they're at and i haven't so i'm taking this around and we're going to do a bit of det detective work to see if we can find either mother 2 earthbound or doom doom i reckon is going to be even harder to find so i've got the maps here and stuff of where to go we've got the mandrake complex uh, Shigeya um, uh, Super Potato. There's two Super Potatoes, which are big retro gaming stores. Beep Akikabara. We've actually got some more as well. There's a lot of stuff. Is there some more? Yes, there is. We've also got uh, bars as well to go to. Um, yeah, Mandrake Complex Shigeya. That's why that's a repeat of the last one. Hey, here we go. And we got the Super Potato Akikabara branch. We've got this one here called Friends, which is uh, could be interesting. Uh, trader and retro game camp. So there's a lot of retro gaming stores in Tokyo. A lot. So I'm really hoping that we can find this. And if we can, I'll go home to the UK happy. Well, happier. So, um, taxi's here in an hour. I've got to get back in. Right, here we go. We're in monster case. Let's go. Right, so make it to the airport in this huge oversized hoodie. I won't um, film my wife too much, she doesn't like to be filmed, so um, I've got to respect that. But yeah, made it to Heathrow and we bought the flight in like, what, f four, four or five hours? So like, um, we've got a while to wait.
six in the afternoon in the UK, but it'll be like three in the morning in Tokyo. So I want to try and beat the jet lag. So I'm going to try and get some sleep on a plane. Never done it before. I'm taking a sleeping tablet. Let's see what happens. Right, so it's like, uh, must be like, uh, it's uh, 12 minutes past seven. I'd like something out of the Ruto, but like, I'm wearing an eye mask, and on the flight we have, we have to wear a face mask as well, so this is what I look like at the moment, on the flight. It's, I haven't slept, man. It's, I've had like about, I've had like four double whiskeys to try and get me to sleep, but it's just not happening. I've had sleeping pills as well, and you shouldn't drink while having sleeping pills, but screw it. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna feel terrible tomorrow. What the f is that? What is that doing there? 12, 2.35, lemon cheesecake and drink. Right, so we made it to Tokyo. Here's the view. Look at that. There's a bit of significance to this little spot, and I'll show you that later, but we're gonna venture out after our flight, which was uh, like 14 hours, and um, yeah, we're both feeling really, really tired, but we're gonna go to like a few different spots. Um, around, I don't even know where it is, but I think around that direction, there's like um, that place called Shuragaya Shura Shura or something, which kind of like sells loads of old games and stuff. And also, uh, I literally don't know, but like around there, apparently there's another super potato. So we're gonna go check that out. But we might have to get a taxi there because it's quite far. So um, yeah, this is the, uh, this is Tokyo. All right, so hopefully we can find this. Right, taking a little mellow walk to <laughs> Sh Shirugaya, I think it's called. I, I, I can't pronounce it. What is that about? Imitation crab. I'll get some of this. And, First thing I do when I get to Japan is buy sushi. You've got to do it. So I think the place we need to go is that great big building over there with like oi oi on the side of it. Oi oi. Here we go. 
on the fifth floor. There's where you want to go. Fifth floor, oh wow. I don't really know what to expect. some stuff but not the stuff I want. Oh what's that? I've got one of these but it's really dirty looking. Yeah. I'm gonna get one of those. Hello. Do you work here? Hi. Do you, do you have that? Oh uh, mother. Mother. Two. I don't think you got it. Why oh, that's so nice? No. Or uh, do you have a super famical? Like a good one? Like, one of these? Do you have one of these? Or any more? No problem. Arigatakamasu. We're at Super Potato again. Here it is. Um, hope. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully. Oh, the camera's all wobbly. Hopefully, we'll find something good. What's all this stuff on the door there? But what is that? It's a tiny version. Is it a repro? Look, they've got it, but it's a tiny one. Oh. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. It's a smaller version of what you want. Yeah, I guess so. Sample. I'm wondering if this is like a sample and the original was kept behind the counter. I wonder. And if that's the case, that's awesome. The Famicom there. Hello. Do you know, is this in a box? This in a box? Box. Ah, box. Oh. A drum roll. It's not bad. I mean, is that a sticker on there? Is that a sticker? Is that, is that a, a, uh, um, a sticker? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool anyway. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll tell you what, serve these guys and I'll have a thing. I'll have a thing.
You want to serve you guys first? Yeah. And I'll, 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 I'll have a think, I'll think, I'll probably do that. So we've got a copy of Mother. It's like 6,000 yen, which is about 30, 40 quid. I think about 50 quid. You know, I suppose that sun fading makes it unique. So I might just get it and it would be quite cool to get it because it's kind of unique to Japan. That sun fading happened in Japan on a sunny day, you know? So I'm kind of inclined to get it. But I'll have to check if I've got a Super Famicom as well. If they've got one of those, that'd be good too. So um, I might get it. What do you reckon? Am I biting the bullet here? Am I jumping too fast? <sighs> I'm gonna get it. And if I find a better one, I'll trade that one in. That's an idea. My next question to ask is, do they sell a Super Famicom? Oh, this game's up here too. Mario Kart. I should really get some more Super Nintendo games. But, oh, the Earthbound one does look good. I mean, it's not in bad condition, really. Ooh, they do look that. Is that? What is that? No way. Is that? No, it's not. And that's Mega Man X2. Ooh. And that's Mega Man X2. That could be good. That could be really good. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. And how many have they got of those? One. Oh, they've got loads. They've got four. They'll be there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye out for that one. Mega Man X2. I might come back for that. Secret of Mana. I might come back for that as well. What's this? Populous. I'm gonna buy that copy of Earthbound, just because it's unique. Konnichiwa. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take uh, Mother 2. Yeah. That's good. Yeah? Do you have a, um, a Super Famicom console? Console? Uh, sorry, no. No, sold out. Uh, okay. Do you know of uh, Akihabara? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh. Oh, anywhere else? Hmm? Any anywhere else? Somewhere? Uh, anywhere. Uh, 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 there are many shops and the retro game shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. No, I think that's pretty cool. I don't like the sticker on it as well. Yeah, that's that's all good to me. That's okay. fine. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Arigato. Arigato. I think that's pretty unique. That is, you know. Better than getting one that's kind of like the same as everyone else's. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh no, 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 I don't want to go there. I'm not going in there.
the hell is this? Just woke up after a nice sleep because uh, I was completely jet lagged yesterday. I try to avoid getting jet lagged, but uh, you just can't help it when you don't sleep for like pretty much three days. So this is the Park Hyatt Hotel in Shinjuku and this is Tokyo. So this hotel is where they filmed Lost in Translation. And we were lucky enough to get the room where Scarlett Johansson sat in that scene. I'll play the scene. So yeah, that is where she sat. So I'm gonna sit here and show you Earthbound. There you go. I'm really happy to get this, but I'm also happy to get this in kind of like the condition it is, because uh, yeah, I wanted like a mint condition version of it, but when I saw this one, I was like, actually, that's actually really nice because it shows that it's actually been used in Japan and faded by the sun, which is up there in Japan. So to have a version that's kind of like been I don't know, used in Japan, and the signs are there that it's been used in Japan. It's actually quite something. And it's got a sticker on the front of like Mario. You can just see it. I don't know what he's saying, but it's pretty cool. And I don't know why it's there, but with, with, with Earthbound or sort of Mother 2, it's got all this negative space. So we decided to fill it up with that. And I just think it's really nice to have this like a used version of uh, Mother 2, Earthbound. Uh, from Japan. I think that's quite that's quite nice and it's perfect really for me. So I'm going to end it here. That was us getting down to Tokyo and this today is our first day and I'll show you where we're going later on in the next video but it's going to be quite something. Anyway, I'll leave with this view. We've got all of this to explore. Anyway, see you later. Shout out to my patrons, the soldiers of cardboard, and also the captains of cardboard, Andrew Rysikos, Michael Heinish, Ricardo, Ryan Byrne, Paul Keward, Luke Cummings, and Mecha Master. And also, we have the commander of cardboard, Flying Torpedo Whale. And finally, the gods of cardboard, Me Machine Dean, Michael Seguiro, and Danny Lugo. Thank you so much, guys.